What's up, what's up, what's up, people? Uh, this your boy, Ken. And yesterday I was looking at first thing first, and the topic was um, about LeBron James and Kevin Durant possibly teaming up. And so I just saw like the hypocrisy from Nick Wright. And so basically they've been getting on Kevin Durant for going to the Warriors. And they were okay with the fact of Kevin Durant teaming up with LeBron James. And so it just goes back to what I've been saying. What what it is, uh, the problem of Kevin Durant going to the Golden State Warriors was they don't like the Golden State Warriors organization for one. And number two, it basically derails uh, the argument for LeBron James becoming the GOAT. So I'm listening to him and he's like, oh, well, it's not far-fetched uh, for LeBron James to reach out to Kevin Durant. In fact, he wouldn't be doing his himself due diligence if he didn't reach out to Kevin Durant. Hold on, wait, wait. You mean to tell me that you're mad that Kevin Durant went to the Golden State Warriors, which they had three players that were actually drafted. He plugged himself into that system and they completely uh, revamped the whole uh, roster. You get mad at that, that he's willing to play with the Golden State Warriors. But you're not mad at the fact that or at the possibility that he would team up with LeBron James. To me, that's that's mad. And then your argument, Nick Wright, is that Kevin, uh, not Kevin Durant, but Steph Curry was considered to be one of the elite, one of the best at the time. So it's pretty much the same. How is it the same if you feel like LeBron James is the best player in the world? And at the time, you really never consider Steph as the best in the world. How is it the same Steph asking Kevin Durant to come to the, the Golden State Warriors versus LeBron James asking him to come play with him in the war? I mean, with the Lakers. How is that the same? I don't even know if he's going to the Lakers. Most likely, he probably will. But how do you not have a problem? with that, but you have a problem with the other, the fact that he went to the Golden State Warrior. It just shows that this dude is a fanboy. He shouldn't be an analyst and, and be emotional, uh, emotionally connected to uh, one specific player. See, the thing is to have, object, uh, to have an objective opinion, and he doesn't have that. His thing is, LeBron this, LeBron that. If LeBron, if Kobe says something about LeBron, destroy Kobe. If Dwayne Wade says something about LeBron in a negative uh, light, destroy, destroy Dwayne Wade. That's his logic. Why would you sit there and have somebody who opinion you can't trust to be unbiased sitting on first thing first, a TV show? He's basically doing the whole leader disservice, as I mentioned before on a whole nother uh, video. This dude, man, he's terrible for the sport. Everything is an opinion basically for LeBron James to make him look better than what he actually is. He used statistical data to try to prove his point, but he leave out key and critical information. So this dude, man, is a joke. Anybody can basically um, take his part and, and, you know, fill in and, and, and do a better job to him. Because I don't like nobody who's just biased, man. Everything LeBron, LeBron James, like I, I, I had in the video, he cannot do no wrong according to Nick Wright. Everything he does right. I think he believe LeBron James is going to get him a house or something. Oh, man, look, you stuck up for me. Uh, this this whole time, man. Let me let me buy you a house, man. He ain't about to buy you nothing, man. So you can go ahead and and, and counsel Christmas if that's what you believe, because you're not going to get anything from LeBron James. So you might as well stop being a fanboy and be an analyst like you're supposed to, and have an object, objective opinion and have an unbiased, unbiased analyst it but but bias towards everybody man like it's good to have an opinion 
you know, but it's never, never good to, you know, just only sway one way, you know, but that's all I got for now. Um, I just wanted to talk about like the, the bias um, opinion that Nick Wright has and the, the fact that he even have a job is mind boggling to me. Like this dude, man, he, he's terrible for, uh, for sports. For, for the casuals, for the people who don't know really about the sport, he's he's dangerous. He's he's hurting the revenue, whether people understand it or not, because they only um, train themselves to say, OK, well, LeBron James is the only one that's worth watching. So I'm basically going to neglect all the rest of the sports or, or the other teams when there are several teams that are in, you know, good contention and stuff like that, that, you know, also need a little help, some assistance on how to become better and stuff like that. But they only talk about LeBron James and what he should do to become better. And they still ignoring the fact that they being hypocritical about the fact that he trying to team up again with a super team to play. But then they they always say, oh, well, LeBron James is the greatest. Oh, LeBron James need help. LeBron James ain't ever won a championship without without uh, superstar help. So don't make it seem like this dude is just like the, the guru of, of basketball. Like he just can't do no wrong, you know. And I hate to, I hate to even have this opinion about LeBron James because I want to appreciate him while he's still playing. Like I like I did Kobe. I just like I didn't like Kobe, but I, I was able to appreciate him. But you got people like Nick Wright, who just basically wants to have an opinion about only one side. You see what I'm saying? And then it make you go and make an opinion against this person. And now it looks like you have a problem with LeBron. No, I don't have a problem with, Le with LeBron. I have a problem with the commutators. I have a problem with them because they're doing the sport a disservice by just only recognizing one player and high, highlighting one player while basically denigrating the other. So I definitely have a problem with that. But that's all I got for now. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Help uh, help me grow the channel. And uh, also uh, comment below if you have any anything that you would like me to talk about. This your boy Ken. I'm out.